Hello guys, what's up? I'm Surush Designer. Today I want to talk about how we can create different type of styles in a SketchUp environment. So this is one of my interior projects about detailing and 3D modeling some type of locker for the uh, bedroom. So as you can see we have different type of styles and camera lenses in here. So I'm going to show you how you can adjust this type of settings. So all of them start with the paint bucket. When I click on it, I can see different type of windows and toolbars. So I don't have any work with material. I'm going to close it. Eternity info is not important in here. But the main place we want to talk about is the uh, shadows and style. So I'm going to start with the shadows. I want to turn on the... Uh, shadow option now it's turned on I come to my view one in here so I can change my daytime and the angle of the uh, shining something like this you can play with it in different times of the year some type of things like this I come back to my view one so we have the light source with the sun so we don't have any work with it I'm gonna close it the main part we want to talk about is about the styles so I'm gonna open the style option at the default style I'm gonna select in model styles now we have this model I click on the edit option so we have some different windows in here edge setting face setting background setting and watermark or modeling setting so I'm gonna start with the edge setting I click on this option and when I want to uncheck or turn off the edges I can click on the uh, edge as you can see now we only have the profiles on our screen and it's not really useful because edge is really important so I want to check it again and about the uh, profiles we can increase these profiles for example if we want some thick lines in our screen I can change it to the 4 for example or depth of Q you can see that it's uh, like the uh, cartoon and we have extensions in here if I reduce the profile to the uh, 1 and increase the extensions to the uh, 6 as you can see we have some graphical lines on the uh, edges and vertexes another option we have for the graphical view is about endpoints I'm gonna click on them and now we don't feel anything but when I increase this number to the uh, 12 you can see these endpoints in here it's really useful for your exterior renderings and if you want to create some simple animations for example at first you show the uh, 3D model and at the second you show the animation rendered you can use these type of options in here another option we have is about the uh, jitter so when I click on the jitter as you can see we have some type of marker or rapid skis in here another option we have is the uh, face setting but one option in here is called back edges when I click on that I can see the uh, back side of my model with every type of details in some type of dashes so when I uncheck the dashes you can see we don't have any unchanged things in here and you can change your colors so the line of the color of these lines now is about blue or black I can convert it to the red and press OK as you can see we have these type of things in here but it's not really useful and I don't suggest it to you so let's get to the uh, face setting in the face setting we have different type of things for example you imagine we don't have any material in here I delete all of these materials like this and I turn off the uh, back edge option I turn off the uh, jitter endpoint extension at depth of Q so now we have this type of model in here so when I change the front color for example some color about something like this maybe you can see that all of the environment 
convert it to the uh, some type of red crimson color and when I want to change the back color actually the reverse face will be changed and we can't see it in this model in here so you can check it back to the white color because it's really detailed and useful another option we have is the uh, styles when I click on the wireframe you can see the environment on the wireframe mode door frame, locker frame, locker's head or etc another option we have is the hidden line mode in this type of model you can only see the hidden lines another option we have is the shaded mode and it's not uh, have some differences with another another option is about shaded with textures we don't have any texture in our environment and it show like it and shading with use all the same is the full things we have in here when I check the uh, extreme mode actually now we can see all sides and faces in here at the extreme mode we have the uh, transparency quality it's on the uh, faster so I'm gonna convert it to the nicer as you can see uh, when I decrease the extreme opacity all of them like the uh, glass and when I increase it to the uh, AT it's uh, completely faded and you only see the uh, vertex and edges in here so we don't need x-ray at all I'm gonna select on the uh, shaded and another option we have is the uh, background color so it depends on our environment for example imagine this type of scene in here and I'm gonna check the uh, sky and ground so for the ground units I'm going to change my color to the green some type of green like this and horizon offset in here, horizon line in here another option we have is the sky when I click on it I only can change the sky item something like this for example and press OK you can see your sky has been changed and the background now is not important because the sky and ground both of them are active when I uh, orbit my model and come under the ground we have some option called transparency when I decrease it actually you can see the model and when I increase the transparency you see the model much fader than the past but the better quality is about middle something like this another option we have is the uh, watermark when you want to add your logo on different type of 3D models you only want to click on the add watermark and you can come to your drives and find your brand in here for example my brand for example something like this so I click on it actually this file is the PNG Surush Designer Arc so I'm going to change it to the background you can see it get to your background and I've placed the overlay option we only see it in here the name is ok watermark 1 and press next in this place we can change the uh, quality fading and transparency I want to create some type of mask in here something like this and make it a little bit faded in the model when you check this type of aim to the image actually it converts to the image when when you decrease it to the model this type of logo has been height so this thing is good and now the question is that where you want to add your watermark so always check the lock aspect ratio when you uncheck it the resolution has been changed and it's not professional for your job now it's on the stretch to the uh, screen another option we have is the uh, tiled across the screen something like this it's useful for the uh, copyright and you can change the uh, scales in here and but I don't suggest it because it's not really good so another option we have is the uh, position tile it's the best type of watermark you can add at the uh, one two three one two three nine side of your screen for example middle side middle left side middle right side or the right side and the bottom so I'm gonna press on the uh, scale option 
and rescale it a little bit like this and press finish so uh, I came back to my room something like this a little zoom on my model alright now I want to click on the look around I type 140 and click on the camera two point perspective so uh, another option we have is the modeling setting it depends on your SketchUp environment and you can change it in the performances and it's not really useful in here so after all of these changes you must save your styles because it's not saved right now so only thing you want to do is that you want to click on this option called update the style with the changes when I click on it my style has been set and I update my view 1 now when I come to the camera 1 and press view 1 I can see my new style in here I hope you enjoyed this video like and subscribe don't forget it please follow and subscribe us have a nice day and goodbye